Hello, Nuggets. Um, so Laura and I just went out to look at apartments. So Laura's uh, mother, my mother-in-law, Vicky, is looking. They're moving to Colorado. I mentioned that in the last video. Her and her boyfriend, Jerry, are moving to Colorado Springs. And in the whole chain of selling the house and the new house and all that, there's this period where uh, they got to figure out their new house won't be ready for about six months, maybe a little less. So they figure out where they're going to live. So they want to live in L.A. to be close to us so we can have Thanksgiving together and Christmas and just to kind of spend that time together before they go off and live in Colorado Springs. So today we went to, Laura and I went to look at uh, these apartments in Playa Vista, which um, if you know Los Angeles, it's Playa Vista. You should know Playa Vista, but it's Silicon Beach. It's called now. It's There's like a Facebook down there, Google, Microsoft, YouTube, all of that kind of stuff. It's a tech area now. Uh, it used to be the Blown Wetlands. So it's very nice. They've got apartments down there. They've got short-term rental apartments. So we decided to go down there and have a look. And I want to show you some pictures I took. I'm just going to show you two pictures. Uh, and then <laughs> have you guessed the price? Because this is this actually harks, goes back to my the last video that I called California Gold Rush. Uh, this goes back to that about why I think I've had enough of LA and the rat race. All right, how do I get it up? Let's see. Here we go. So that is looking from there's a window that looks out on the street, and that's the front door you can see in the back. Um, on the left, the door closest to us is to the bedroom, which is the same size as the room you're in, but half the length. And then the second door, which is a bit darker, is to the bathroom. So you can kind of tell it's one big box. Half of it is this room. And the other half on the left hand side is half a bedroom and half a bathroom and a little walk-in closet. And then, um, actually hang on, have I got another picture here? I do. There you go. And that's it from the other side. So this is the bedroom over here. And you've got a little balcony out here, which is nice. Here's the street. That's pretty much it, right? So that's the place. So, oh, hang on. I want to do that. There we go. Um, so. Three thousand eight hundred dollars a month. It's, I mean, that's just insane. <laughs> that thing's crazy. And I know people from San Francisco will be watching this, or from New York, or from London, from Paris, or wherever, and saying like, "Oh no, but that's you know, that's, that's half the size. We wouldn't get a place like that. It's a closet." But that's still fucking crazy. Three thousand eight hundred dollars a month. Now it's a little bit more because it's short term. Um, the location is amazing. It is a beautiful place to live, right? You get the little marine breeze, so it's hot, but it's beautiful. It smells great. <laughs> you know, there's loads of great stores around there. And there's like a Whole Foods and some burger bars and like an Asian fusion place. And there's a lot of shit going on there. Dog parks, trails. It's a really nice place to live. I'm not denying that. But $3,800 a month for a shoebox for this tiny space. And... This, to me, is very indicative of L.A. life, right? Of city life in California. And this is what I've had enough of. I mean, that's crazy. $3,800 should get you a three-bedroom house, you know. And it will in a lot of places with a pool, you know. Um, $3,800 is more than my mortgage. So I f it makes me feel like I'm just very out of touch with the earning potential of people and how much things cost. Because I couldn't afford that, you know. I can't afford anywhere near that. Like, I forgot to mention in the last video that if we sold our house for what we think it's worth, rough appraisal from stuff around us and all that, we think we might walk away with about 500000 half a million dollars, right? And to me, that should be enough for us to buy a really nice house somewhere, you know. And I'm not stuck in 20 years ago. It is. You can buy a nice house for that. Just not here. And you can't rent a place that's $3,800. I mean, that's crazy. That's insane. Anyway, I want to show you that. <laughs> it just blew my mind. They're really annoying as well. The whole COVID thing is like the pandemic. They didn't want to open the door to us. We, wanted to, we said we wanted to see the apartment. And they were standing behind this, <laughs> this big glass door. And uh, we came, we knocked at the door, and they all just kind of looked at us and like, they doing out there with some people and they came to the door and literally she unlocked the door and she went like this she went can I help you <laughs> this is the leasing office 
for this place. We're like, well, yeah, can we can we see an apartment? <laughs> and my wife said, was it when it first and said, can we? We'd like to look at an apartment. And they said, you, you don't. Do you have an appointment? And she looked at everyone just sitting in their office doing nothing and said, why well, are you guys really really busy right now? And they went, okay, yeah, okay, we'll go. People are in that zone, man, from this COVID thing. They're not used to socializing, getting back, and like everything is very slow. It has not picked up pace at all. Um, so, anyway, there's that. Just wanted to share that with you. Sorry if that was boring. But hey, at least it was short. All right, you little nuggets. Bye.